What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Trailmakers, and it's actually been a long time since we've played any Trailmakers, but I've seen a lot of people have been playing it recently, including mainly actually Scrapman, I've noticed Scrapman playing a lot of Trailmakers. There's been so many new updates to this game, and there's been like the submarine update mainly, including buoyancy blocks for water, as well as uh, some flotation blocks, and a new submarine capsule so you can actually make stuff that can go underwater we've got like caves and stuff and it really got me excited i really wanted to make some sort of like a, a, a submarine that is kind of like a water snake the snake piece is coming in and out of the water kind of like a, a, a serpent or something and i really wanted to see if we could make something that could you know go underwater and then come out of the water and go back in and have all these different sections that all move individually and follow each other so we're going to try and make something like that today i think it's probably going to be asking a lot. Let's just try building a really basic submarine. So I haven't played around with this game at all yet since they've come out with all these new parts. So I know there is a new seat. There's, oh, there's a bunch of new seats. Block hunt, block hunt, block hunt. Okay, so we're going to have to actually play this game a little bit more in sandbox to unlock some new seats. But there is this diving bell, so it lets us go underwater. Pretty simple. It's got a lot of attachment points, which is nice. And, uh, and then, you know what, we're just going to attach to some simple frame pieces here. Something like this, right? Should give us a pretty decent base to attach stuff to. And then, I'm pretty sure for propulsion, there's like propellers underwater. Here we go. Let's see if we can... Underwater... Oh, you can't even read it. What does it say? It doesn't... It doesn't say. Alright, so it, it will turn these on. How do they configure? I think... What is it? Oh, it's just spacebar. So there's no reverse on those. And then we'll copy this across. Perfect. Loving that new mirror mode. That's absolutely amazing. And then I think we have to actually make this float. I'm pretty sure... I mean, I, I think this is like... We have to put this... We have to put flotation on this, right? If it'll just... It'll just sink. Yeah, it just sinks. Uh, how big is the large pont... That is huge. Okay, we don't need... We don't need that. Medium pont too. That's pretty good. And we'll just put one in the middle, maybe. Maybe... You know what? Let's just put two. That, that One right there. One right there. That looks great. It looks like a mini submarine. All right, this thing looks good. Okay, it still doesn't really float. We can get in it, though. Does it float at, if we... Oh, boy. Does it float at all? Oh, yeah, okay, it does float. It just kind of floats. It floats kind of top-heavy. Okay. But just like with the other seat, we can actually control the seat just using WASD. So I really like that. The seats kind of have a built-in gimbal. So this already, it gives us movement. And then if we press space... Oh, this is great. This is amazing. Look at this thing. It's so good. Like, literally three seconds. Okay, oh, that's the bubble producer. It's just a little event. This is... Okay, can we... How do we barrel roll? Is there a barrel roll button? So, I guess if we want to add barrel roll, we'd have to, you know, put in some actual fins and stuff like that and have it on custom controls. This is sweet, though. I mean, just WASD, we can drive it around pretty easily. And I think it's just, it's just directing the cockpit. It does sink a little bit. It is a little nose-heavy, so we do have to kind of constantly pull up a little bit, you know, going down... But it's, it's pretty good. It drives like a little bit of a ship and like a little, I don't know, like a little, I guess like a mini sub. That's exactly what it, oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So I think what we got to do now is we're just going to attach like a bunch of identical sections, but without the cockpit to it and see if we can make like a really long sort of snaking submarine. And we'll just keep steering the front piece. And hopefully if we steer the front, then all the other pieces will just, you know, sort of follow wherever the front goes. I, I don't really know if that's going to work, but hopefully we can just make some sort of like free joint system so that it just floats nicely and uh and each piece just follows the leader this makes me want to play so much more trail makers now and really just you know build so many cool things i know the workshop's just been exploding when you look at the trail makers workshop there's all sorts of cool creations that people have been coming up with and of course i'd love to hear your guys ideas as well as to what kind of cool creations to make but really all, all this does is just make me want to get back into trail makers even more and i mean look we can we can do all sorts of cool cool tricks yeah look at those tricks all right so let's get back up onto the shore here and we'll just keep adding more sections to this see if we can make a much better sort of submarine snake uh shoreline here we go all right perfect i think we can just grab this like this right and uh can we is there a way to copy that there is we can copy that right so perfect so now it's like twice the length and then we'll just shift that out and then we just need something to connect these two together and then we'll just build more of these and hopefully make a whole thing. We might have to actually remove the engines. We might have too many thrusters if we put a ton of thrusters on, but we'll see. Okay, so we'll add, what can we put between them? All right, it's gonna be under the mechanical section. So blocks with mechanical functions. So it's not gonna be a steering hinge, large hinge, trailer hinge, ball hinge with two attachment points. Oh, that might be, 
suspension, servo. You know what? Maybe buoyancy control device. Okay, so I think that's if you want to make like an adjustable submarine that can go up and down with some buoyancy adjustments. Because these are just going to be like a fixed value, right? So if we put too much weight, it'll sink and it'll never come back to the surface. But these are obviously light enough to support it. So, you know, let's just try this trailer hinge. Oh, this, this looks great. Okay, so let's test this. Uh, we'll save that real quick. And uh, let's just test this. Right, we gotta got to get it in the water. Okay. All right, perfect. So that should still float. Um, still a little nose heavy, but that's okay. We can pull up. All right, perfect. So now... Oh god, it's uh, it's a little it's a little bit quick. The the back pushing the front is not is not a good addition. Maybe we just need thrusters on the front and have the other sections just wait. What is that? Is that is that a crab? Oh, it's a fish. Oh, that's so cool. This is not gonna work. The back pushes with too much thrust. We need to just have maybe just one thruster on the back piece. Is that? Oh boy. Oh god, it's like a dolphin. All right. Uh, no, no, this no. This, this way. This, no. Okay. You know, let's just take these back ones off. Um, looks a little bare bones, doesn't it? It, it, it needs a thruster. I feel like it's going to be too slow without a thruster in the middle. You know what? We're going to try it like this, though. Let's just, let's just test this and see. Floats really high up. I mean, that, that works, I guess. It does drag it. Okay, so that works. I mean, maybe, let's... Oh, goodness, it gets a lot of height. You know what? Let's try it. Let's add, like, 20 more sections to it and see how much slower this thing really gets. And then we'll look at maybe adding more thrusters to the front. I'm not sure. All right, so let's go. Let's make this a, a real perfect snake here. This is going to be amazing. All right, here we go. What is wrong? Look at this build grid. What is going on there? Again, a little bit front heavy. It's fine. It actually does kind of look like it. Oh, my God, that looks so... Yeah, see, now it's not... Now it's not enough thrust to even pull it under. It's too much, it's too much floating power. I don't think more thrust is the answer. Let's remove some of the small pontoons here. So let's just remove this whole back section and remake the trailer with a single pontoon. I, I feel like it's going to be the same thing though. At some point in time, it's just going to stop being able to pull it under and uh, we'll have to add more thrusters to it. But we'll see. Let's just drop this in the water here. It's good enough. So really good at the service and... Uh, yeah, see, it, it, it still, it, uh, yeah, it just can't, it can't, it can't do it. Each section needs to be more neutrally buoyant. Right now, the sections are way too, they're way too light, so they don't, uh, they don't want to naturally sink. The whole thing has to just kind of want to naturally sit below the surface, and then that way, when we actually go to drive, there, it's just sort of, like, pulling them along. It doesn't actually have to, you know, pull them under, right? The problem right now is that it's trying to drag them underneath, and then the floating power just brings it back up to the surface. So we, we can fix this. We just need to change each back section to make it neutrally buoyant. The front submarine is obviously good enough. It seems to work really well on its own. Okay, so let's try this. What if we go rotate this guy, put one single 50, and then this on the other end, and then put the two buoyancy blocks. Maybe this will be enough just to be neutrally buoyant. And then if we can do this, we can duplicate a million of them and make a really cool underwater snake. All right, there we go. That's that should be good. I mean, that that seems to follow pretty pretty decently. It does seem to want to float a little bit. Definitely need to add a little bit of buoyancy in the front just to help with that diving bell. I mean, that's that's really that's really you know what? Let's duplicate that. And see if we can get more. This is gonna be okay. Does it does it still fly out of the water? Oh yeah. This is gonna be cool. Okay, so let's just add some. Oh yeah. Perfect. We're gonna duplicate this. 10 times, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Look at that. That looks really, really good. It's just barely floating below the surface. It is floating, which is good. We do want it to float, but we don't want it to float that aggressively. All right, here we go. I mean, it's working. It's definitely not as fast as it used to be. It is towing a lot of blocks, but they're definitely following it. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a snake. <laughs> the whole tail just comes out. All right, let's do, a, let's do a loop. Look at that. That's so cool. All right, we definitely need some more thrust, though, on the front. And then and definitely more thrust. Like, it needs to be a lot faster in the front. Maybe a little heavier on the, on the pieces? I, I don't know. We can try making each one a little bit heavier. Definitely more thrust, though. We'll add a little bit more weight to each one of these. 
So all we're going to do for that is instead of putting these small structural pieces, which I think are like one, what are they? 1.3. We'll put these at 0.6. And that'll make this just a little bit heavier. Just extend this whole pod forward and make it fourth. You know what? Let's just do that. Okay, so let's just make the whole front section a little bit bigger. Like this. You know what? This might even help with the whole front being too heavy thing. And we'll just put more thrusters under it. Perfect. So now we've got six, and that should float. Oh yeah, this is this is much better. Still get the WASD control. It's a little bit uh, stiffer now, obviously, because the creation's a lot bigger. But it still works. We can still steer with just the the, the cockpit. Definitely a lot more power now, which is great. All right. So then we'll. Holy cow! Look at the height that gets. That's so good. All right, we're gonna just we're gonna slap like twenty like okay we'll start with ten, and then we'll slap like more on them and and we'll get like twenty going one two, three four five six seven eight nine ten. All right, perfect. Oh my goodness. The okay here we go. This is so cool. I'm really really happy with how this turned out. This is amazing. I mean, obviously it could use some improvement. I'm sure there's there's much better creations on the workshop for, for submarines. I'm sure someone's made even a better snake submarine, but look at that. That is so good. It just kind of flops around like crazy, but... Oh, I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to see what else we can build in Trailmakers 2. Of course, I'm definitely open to suggestions, so let me know in the comments down below. I know I'm definitely one of the noobs at this game. I, I haven't really spent too much time building all that much in trail makers but uh i'm really excited with this new update and i'm really excited to get back into building a few more things in trail makers so hopefully you guys enjoy this game this is great i mean let's add you know let's do another 10 sections just to see i feel like it's just gonna slow it down a whole lot though because you know these these engines can only take so much all right so we've doubled the length of our snake train It is definitely getting dragged against it, but it is still moving. I mean, it's definitely a lot more sluggish on the controls. We'd probably want to put some actual rudders on it if we wanted to make this even longer. But it is really, really cool. Everything's just following the leader. Oh, that's a wall. Didn't even, didn't even, oh boy. Can we, oh, no, let's go this way. Perfect. All right, let's see, you know, if we can actually get this thing to do the proper snake movements I was talking about. So here we go. We're going to go up. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't very good. Let's let's go a little bit slower. It, it's so cool, though, to watch all the sections follow it. So here we go. Up, and then dip, and then up, and then down, and then up, and then down, and then... Oh, it's so great. I love the way this the movements in this work. I feel like if we tried to do this in Scrabble Kinetic, the amount of bearings, it would just explode. But anyways, of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you have any other suggestions for builds, I'd love to hear them. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time.